Well, a Silicon Valley powerhouse announcing a major restructuring. Cisco says it's laying off 5,500 employees. That is 7% of its workforce. KPX 5's Kit Doe says the cuts are part of a wave of layoffs as tech companies refocus on the next big thing. What's the largest employer in Silicon Valley going to do with the piles of cash they'll save by cutting all those jobs? Cisco says they'll reinvest in what they think is the next big thing, cybersecurity, the cloud, and the Internet of Things. Yeah, this is a classic Silicon Valley death and rebirth. Tech analyst Rob Enderly says Silicon Valley is shifting and morphing yet again. Need proof? HP is laying off 3,000 people by year's end, and Microsoft is eliminating 4,700 jobs over the next year. Enderly says we're in the middle of the cloud wave now, and after that, it's artificial intelligence and self-driving cars. This you know, emphasis on technology isn't going away. We're just shifting from one technology to another. People who look at this and say, the sky is falling. No, that's certainly not the case. This is part of the natural progression that we see. Peter Leroux Munoz at the Silicon Valley Leadership Group says look beyond the current headlines. The Valley actually added 30% more jobs over the past 15 years. From aerospace to PCs, now to IoT and to cybersecurity and cloud computing. This is part of a larger narrative of opportunity and innovation in the Valley. Elspeth Rossetti is a career counselor at Santa Clara University and says to survive in today's Silicon Valley, you have to skill up. To be agile, to be nimble, to acquire new skills, I think that is what we tell new grads these days. Back at Cisco headquarters, employee Sam Kumar thinks he's safe in this round of layoffs. Well, you're saying networking is not dead. Not dead. No, no, not at all dead. It is more and more because of what you call that uh, Internet of Things. So many people are going to use connect m many more devices to the Internet. In San Jose, Kitto, KPIX5.